Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 611. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 608 to 612. Hey, in this trick 611, we're going to do the same thing we did in 610. We took our data and in that a video we used a pivot table to show year over year sales and then show the percentage change. Now, the formula we're going to do an array formula in 611, and I kind of like this one better than pivot table, and we'll be able to change whether we see uh, 117 or 17 percent. Uh, okay, so here's our data set. We're still going to need some labels up here. We're going to have to. We're doing this by hand. We're not using a pivot table. So. I'm going to type 2009 because we're going from 2009 to 2010. This will be um, tab 2010. And then I'm going to click this cell and this cell using the control key in the active cell. I'm going to type percent change. Control enter puts that value into all the highlighted cells. Maybe go like that. Maybe some uh, formatting, something like that. All right, now how in the world are we going to summarize? We have um, yearly, uh, daily transactional data here, and we need to summarize by year. We'll go ahead and do this using the year function and the sum product function. Now, why can't we use sum if? Because we can't say sum this column with this criteria looking here because these are serial numbers, these are full dates, this is just the year. So equals sum product. Sum product is a function that takes two arrays and multiplies them. Our first array is just going to be a series of ones and zeros for trues and falses. Is this year 2009? True, true, true. These will be falses, etc. The uh, we'll convert the trues to ones and the tens, the falses to zeros, and then we'll multiply it by this column, right? One times this, one times this, zero times this, and that's how we'll do it. Now, we need to convert trues and falses to ones and zeros, and we'll use double negative. What is minus one? It's minus one. What is double minus one? It's one. So that's just a tricky way. Actually, it's the fastest calculating way of all the methods of converting trues and falses to ones and zeros. Now, we've got to do open parentheses, year function, and we simply highlight this whole column. Click there, Control shift down arrow, F4 key to lock it close parentheses, let's take a look, highlight it, and hit the F9 key. You can see, sure enough, from serial numbers, it gives us years, Control-Z. Now we can say, are any of those equal to this cell right here? Now when we highlight these, we get a series of trues and falses, Control-Z. And finally, when we um, put parentheses, because double negative will calculate before the comparative operator equals. So since we want equals first, you've got to put it in parentheses. And then when we do our double negative, boom, we got a bunch of ones and zeros. That's exactly what we want. Control Z, that's the first array, comma. Second array is here, Control Shift down arrow F4. Move that screen tip out of the way. Array two, close parentheses, Control Enter. And there we can see our formula, copy paste. All right, just like in the last video, I'm going to hold the, just like in the last video, we got the right numbers here. I'm going to hold Control and click on both cells and use the keyboard shortcut for currency, Control Shift 4. Now the formula for percentage change, maybe I'll uh, decrease the decimals like we just did in the last video too, because I'm not really interested in the pennies. Now I'm going to hold um, my cursor, my control key and highlight both cells and in the active cell, I'm going to create my formula. Equals the end value divided by the begin beginning value. So whatever wherever we ended up, uh, divided by what, wherever we started for any percentage change, it gives you one plus the percentage change, control enter. If I format this with the keyboard shortcut Control Shift 5, I get um, percentage format with just uh, with no decimal showing. Now, that's not right. With the cell still selected, hit F2. Um, that's right, but this is not right. Oh no, this one right here. 
uh, right now in this active cell here, we're saying, hey, relative cell reference divided by this. But really, when we copy this formula over to here using Control-Enter, this one needs to be locked. So I have to hit the F4 key. Now when I Control-Enter, I get just what we want. And to illustrate that, you could see blue one relative cell reference, green one locked. Uh, blue one absolute cell reference locked, and that um, green one, which was green there, now moved to blue relative cell reference, which means one to my left divided by D2 always. One to my left divided by D2. Now, if we wanted to uh, show just the percentage change, we'd come up, um, hit F2, and minus one. Control Enter. Now we get seven, zero and seventeen percent. So really, you could have it either way you want. I'm going to copy that in edit mode. Control C, Escape. Control V. Control Shift Five. Get rid of that one. Control Enter. Control C. Control V. Either way you like it. All right. Uh, we'll see you next. Um, next. All these ones are still doing this year over year, but we're going to have some interesting twists and problems that, that are going to cause us to have to solve those problems. Problems are always fun in Excel because that means you get to solve them. All right, see you next trick.